Hi friends, I'm so glad you're back. Today is the 14th day of the Ugly Art Club's five minute challenge and the prompt for today is postage. So I have to admit I had a bit of a difficult time with this one. I was not sure what I was going to do. The thing that I kept coming back to in my mind was when I was younger, I would send out mail art to um, my friends and pen pals that I had across the country. So I would take a fun envelope and I would decorate it. I would draw on it. Um, I would do different doodles with, you know, all sorts of glitter pens and this and that. So that's where my mind kind of kept going back to with postage. And I would use all different colors of pens and all of this. So a lot of times in my artwork now, I will pick one color and use bold black and white with it. Um, so for this one, I wanted to try to uh, pay homage to that a little bit of how I used to work while still staying true to who I am as an artist today. So I did go ahead and speed up this video because it ended up being um, three times longer than <laughs> the five minutes. And um, I'm okay with how that turned out because in the end, I feel like it honored the idea that I wanted to do. So how I'm going to pay respect to what I used to do, but keep it within my style today is I decided to do a flip out there on the top. So on the front side, it will go along with the spread and um, everything will be kind of in my current style. And then on the back side, it will be a little bit of a bright surprise and be more along the lines of what I used to do. So I felt like this was just a fun way to bring those st two styles together and really anybody else looking at this spread, unless they knew the story, would not really get postage vibes from this. But I'm okay um, with how that turned out. I That's the fun thing about prompts, I think, is you can take one little source of inspiration there and turn it to whatever works for you. So everybody's given the same prompt, but everybody will come up with something completely different. And I think that's the beautiful and fun thing about art. So I wanted to add even more texture onto that flip out. So I just decided to add a little bit of stitching there. As you can see, I folded that over and that will create the fold out, the flip out. So I was deciding the best way to adhere that to the page. I could glue it, but I don't think it will stay well enough. Um, stapling it would probably be the best way, but I didn't want those staples to show through on the back side. So I'm just taking some artist tape that is a very strong adhesive and um, going to stick that down. The first time I got it stuck down, it was not straight. And so I have to, I had to redo it to try to get it a little bit more straight. I decided that part of that uh, fold folded area would not have the adhesive on it. So I just added a little bit of glue to help that stick better. Now that I have that fold out on the page, I knew I wanted to write a little message on the back. Um, because that's what I used to do in the, for the envelopes that I used to send out. I would write little messages on them and on the inside there would be artwork as well. So I just wrote a little, um, thing on a scrap piece of paper, sending you love. Um, and I'm going to put that on the back side of this little flap. So when you open it, it kind of, um, shows the the idea that I had originally with this. Now that I have that part pretty much done, um, I'm going to start working on the other parts of the page. So fold outs always take more time um, than what you think they will, but I always think they're a very fun and unexpected interactive thing to do on your pages. So I'm using black gesso here and the end of my sponge to create a couple of bold rectangles. And um, I wanted those to be really opaque, so I 
dipped my sponge more than I normally would. So I did hit that with the heat gun before continuing. Now I am adding scribble marks onto the page. There is really no rhyme or reason ever to scribble marks, but I, I love them and it always helps me to loosen up my hands and loosen up my mind for what I am working on. Then I remembered here that I still had that label prompt to add to the page, but it had a few other colors in it that I did not want on the page. So I just decided to use the Stabilo All Pencil and grunge it up a little bit and to make it fit a little bit better. I love how bold the black and white was on this page. So now I am using my uh, white uh, corrector pen to add more texture and um, a little bit more boldness onto the page itself. I hadn't really thought about the um, underside of that flap before I started. And so I want to kind of bring some of those elements from the bottom back up into the top. I don't want things to be exactly the same, but I think um, bringing in a few of those aspects so it kind of resembles the bottom is a fun way to tie it all together. And since I was already so over on time, I decided to do um, what I really wanted to do on that that uh, prompt label and I had to hit it with the heat gun first and I'm going to add a little bit of stitching onto it. I hesitate here because I'm thinking what in reality would be best to do is to stabilize that piece of paper somehow. I already weakened it by adding water and adding the Stabilo um, but in the end I don't want to deal with the gunkiness of the tape uh, behind it. So I'm just being really careful when I'm poking my needle back and forth to not rip the pages, uh, the paper, because it is very easy to do on paper in general, and especially when you've already um, worsened the integrity of it by adding water. So just now adhering it to the page, I usually like to leave those tails long. And finally, the page is done and I do love how it turned out and how it paid kind of a respect to the style of art that I used to do. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching and I hope to see you tomorrow for the last day, day number 15. Have a good one.